Welcome back. Well, first came the floods, and now you can add snow to the wild winter weather in Paris. The French capital is snowbound. Take a look at these incredible pictures. Up to 15 centimetres of snow fell in and around Paris, the most in 31 years. Well, some Parisians broke out their skis, but the snow forced the closure of the Eiffel Tower, and the city also opened emergency shelters to help those stranded commuters. Well, for more on this, Melissa Bell is joining us from Paris and we have our CNN meteorologist Chad Myers here to talk about how the winter weather is impacting other parts of Europe. Uh, first, I want to go to Melissa, where the, the pictures there are absolutely beautiful, but it is causing a headache for commuters. A massive headache for Parisian authorities, Linda, with, as you mentioned, commuters stuck in their cars overnight, trains and buses not running in. This really eerie feeling in central Paris this morning because people simply couldn't get in. So for those of us who were fortunate enough to be inside the city, it felt like a sort of wonder, a winter wonderland, a dreamland with very few people in it and all this snow. Let me just give you an idea. Even this afternoon of the Paris skyline, you can see it is all blanketed in white, all of its monuments and all of its buildings and even now uh, travel conditions are really not anything like they should be now what Parisian authorities point out is just look this kind of thing simply doesn't happen in Paris as you mentioned Linda. we've seen extraordinary weather in the last few weeks those heavy rains the Seine flooding and over uh, and overflowing and now of course this and they've said we're not Moscow we're not Montreal we simply don't have the means to deal with this and Parisians are just going to have to be patient but we've also seen the other side of all that chaos and that commuting misery and that is the sheer joy of the many children who've come up to this part of Paris, Montmartre, which is its highest point. They've been skiing, they've been sledging, they've been using plastic bags to make their way down the slopes, and temporarily the Sacré Coeur has been turned into a sort of piste in the middle of Paris. Linda. All right, Melissa Bell in Paris. Let's see what is going to happen in the coming days and weeks. Our Chad Myers uh, joins us for more of the forecast. Incredible weather uh, we're seeing really here. Is. The most snow in over 30 years. Yeah, really? And if we think about Paris and you think about, oh, it must be far, fairly farther south. You know, this must be like about Atlanta, Georgia. No, actually, Paris is about the same latitude or even a little bit farther north than Ottawa. So even though Ottawa gets very cold and very snowy at times, you kind of get protected here in France. And so that's why it's such a rare event. There was a small little low that centered itself right over the plains and the snow came up, the moisture came up from the Mediterranean, kind of over and around the Pyrenees and right into Paris proper. Uh, and even some of the suburbs around Paris didn't see that much. But if you get farther south and in, in Nantes or Tunis, you did see a little bit of the precip come down there. But here's the story here. Montsouris had 12 centimeters. That's about once every 10 years. We go to Orly, the airport, at 15 centimeters. That's once every 20 to 25 years for the snow. I wish... We could have been there, though, and I, I'm so jealous of the reporter to be able to stand in the city of lights when it's quiet and peaceful because I love it when the snow falls and everything just gets quiet. Cars don't run, or if they do, they, the tires don't make noise. It would have been a magical night over there last night. Now, Paris, you do get the one degree for tomorrow, but it does warm up from here. We will be all the way about 7 by the beginning of next week. It stays cold. I mean, it's still winter here in Europe, and that's what you'd expect. There's still a lot of ski on the Alps, a lot of snow there. But look at this, look at Montreal, or I'm sorry, Moscow. Moscow picked up 61 centimeters of snow over the weekend, one of their largest snowfalls ever. So you get the cold air, you get the moisture off either um, the Red Sea or into the Mediterranean, you can get some pretty big snow and they're seeing it in Europe right now. It and is now. absolutely incredible. I love the picture you painted, Chad, and I wanna go back to Melissa on that point because I'm wondering whether people are taking time off work to just enjoy the snow. They've had to, Linda. They've had no choice. People have been forced to stay at home. And exactly as you were just hearing, Paris was an extraordinary place this morning. It woke up five or six in the morning. People began to wake up. And it wasn't just uh, that it was blanketed in snow, those 12 centimeters of snow, even here in central Paris. But there wasn't a sound. There wasn't a car. There was no one in the streets. So many people, especially those coming from the suburbs where there were up to 20 centimeters of snow, simply couldn't get to work. Now, if you were amongst those fortunate enough not to have got in your car and gotten stuck, that means you spend the day at home and here in Paris we had a tremendously peaceful day in Linda. And it certainly looks very beautiful. Melissa Bell for us in Paris, Chad Myers at the Weather Centre. Thank you both very much. <laughs>